I can tell you right now that I do not think the Heil has been fixed. It's like a combination of ice and snow. This thing is like totally, totally, um, iced over. This is insane. The blades can't even spin. And it's buzzing. That is the... And that looks like a hubcap from a Mitsubishi Galant. Jesus Christ. Jesus effing Christ. This is the most frozen heat pump ever. Holy shit. <laughs> we're, gonna be, we're gonna be coming back down here later, so let me just take a picture of it. <laughs> I think it might actually be trying to run now. Don't know if it's defrosting or what the hell it's doing. It just kicked on. All right, I do not know what the hell it is doing. I don't know if it is defrosting or if it is actually running, but the blades can't spin because it's um, so frozen. I might have to go and tell the owner. My God. motor might have actually burned out. I gotta go tell the owner. I'll be back. And I'm taking that home with me to hang it on the wall of my room. So how many times has this happened? Never. Yeah, I think it, it needs a new defrost control board. There's like this little microchip that goes in there, and it tell basically it switches into air conditioning mode, and it, that melts all the ice off of it. And it uses the auxiliary heat to heat the building while it's defrosting. Well, that's why the auxiliary heat comes down, huh? Yeah. Or if the heat pump just can't work very well in the winter. If it's too cold for the heat pump to work, then it'll operate on just the auxiliary heat. And that comes from where? It's like little toaster coils inside the air handler. Huh. So, over here. Oh. Yeah, basically the way this works is um, in the summer when it's in air conditioning mode, it just, it, it works like an air conditioner. But then in the winter, it has what's called a reversing valve, and that reverses the flow of the refrigerant, and it heats up the refrigerant, and it draws warm ambient air from outside. There's still cold weather, there's still warm air in the cold air outside, even when it's in the 20s. Uh -huh. And that's when the limit, it, it can only it totally is not able to heat at probably about zero degrees. So when the wind chill gets down real low, does it smell eventually? 
smell it? Uh, the motor? I couldn't, I don't, I don't know if the motor's burned out. I just said it was frozen. Um, Why does it smell warm? Yeah. Well, it may be because it was. Nineteen eighty-eight, July of nineteen eighty-eight, manufacture date right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's either low on freon, or the more likely scenario is it just needs a defrost control board. You think it would be wise if we pour hot water on? Yeah, that would um, that could work. I read that in a, on a on a website for an air conditioning contractor. How come you read up on that stuff? Because I'm thinking about going in, into it as a career. Cars and automo automotive stuff will always be my um, first passion, but I recently got into HVAC. Plus, for some reason on YouTube, people just like watching videos of heat pumps defrosting and all frozen up. I have no idea why, but if that's what the viewers want, that's what the viewers get. Sounds like an airplane. It's second it'll turn off. Mm -hmm. It just shut off. Yeah. I turned it off. Well, at least you know the, we know the fan motor's not blown out. So this one you need to go, and uh, that should probably put hot water or something. Yeah, but then when it gets down into the 20, it's like 40 degrees right now, uh -huh. but it'll get down to like um, in the 20s tonight, and it'll freeze up all over again. Well, if, right. it, if we can melt the bulk of it away, uh -huh. and there's no more dripping, uh -huh. Is the auxiliary was the auxiliary heat running? Oh yeah, yeah, this week yeah. Yeah, that's because it's uh, it's only supposed to do that when it's defrosting, uh -huh. or so it's normal for it to back up to to turn off kick in to back up the heat pump when it's really cold and when the heat pump just can't function at all it operates solely on the emergency heat. Dude, can you get a skate tool? Yeah. Yeah, and I can't use anything sharp here. Yeah, you'll pierce the um but I can they'll pierce the coils and all the you could spring a leak and have freon leaking out. Do you know it's actually a felony to release freon into the atmosphere? Yeah, because it's so bad for the environment. Yeah, I mean, it's throughout the entire system. It's in the compressor, all these copper tubing, there's R22 refrigerant in there. And it's the old stuff, since this is a 1988 heat pump, this is the old stuff that's horrible for the ozone layer. So if this leaks out, it's a... Or the reversing valve could be stuck too. Like it has, like I said, it has to switch into air conditioning mode for it to defrost. Uh -huh. That could be stuck too when it's stuck in heat mode. And that's also not very cheap to fix. Mm. But from what I've heard, these, these old piles are supposed to be built extremely well. Uh -huh. There is the other Heil, not running, and the Maratherm. And the other Heil, it's buried under a bunch of shit.
Where's the um, air handle located? Like in the basement or something? Probably. We don't have access to the basement. So. Yeah, that's where the vent is, or where the um, indoor fil unit is. Are, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if this had gas heat, which it doesn't, that would be where the furnace is. And I didn't notice this before, but it looks like it has a newer compressor. It's a Copeland reciprocating compressor. Probably used to have a Bristol. Damn. I just thought I'd take one last look at the Heil before I went back to my friend's house. And it looks like they've made a decent amount of progress. At least you can see the coils now. This old and this caked in ice, this thing is actually pretty damn quiet. In my opinion, this is actually a pretty good unit. These old um, piles. At least the fan motor isn't burn out, burned out. At least it just looks like the um, defrost control board will have to be replaced. Nineteen eighty-eight high all heat pump, probably either an eight or a nine sear. Um, yeah, and look at that—the ice is starting to build up there too. You can already see the very beginnings of more ice buildup right there. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, out.